What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Double header for you tonight. We're going to start with the community posts and then we're going to go into the filet of fish mukbang. I want to timestamp this for you because this was before the video and before the comments on Sala's gaming channel, which are going to go hand in hand. So she comes out and says, I want to address a few things before I go on just to focus on beezing and lighthearted content from now on. I should have never spoken about Cyrax and the community surrounding him. I didn't know any of the plural actions he engaged in. Otherwise, I would have never said anything at all. I didn't do my research or homework. I'm very impulsive, and it usually doesn't work in my favor. Like I said, I just thought he was being trolled because of his looks and rages, etc. I will never speak about the subject again. What I do also find deplorable is Girl World laughing and encouraging and supporting someone, things that may or may not have happened, going real life to innocent family members because I had an opinion you didn't like on the internet. It's okay for all of you to obsessively target me and my family on the regular and it's really gross. I will not address anything online ever again. We'll deal with other matters with the law as needed. Chantal, there's a huge issue with this apology. First of all, you can't come out and say, I didn't do my research, I didn't do my homework, I'm very impulsive, I got it wrong. And then say, all the things you doing are wrong. You are the reason you're in this scenario, and in part... You accepted responsibility, but then you went to defer to be the victim again. Now, what I find incredibly intriguing is, after this post, Sala had a gaming stream. And in that gaming stream, there's someone that has a wrench that has your name, has to be you. Look at everything you say. Why are you saying these things? Why are you saying, come to Kuwait, see what happens? Why are you saying who's not being touched? Why are you encouraging the same behavior that you are chastising the community for encouraging? So let me make sure I understand. When you encourage the behavior, that's acceptable. But when it happens, that's deplorable and people laughing, encouraging, supporting, obsessively targeting. So you do it, it's okay. Everyone else does it, big problem. Just so we're on the same page, because that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, Chantal. Now, with that portion over, onto the doubleheader, one point, oh my, my computer, it, it doesn't like me. Wait, now I'm confused. I, her post of stupidity got me so confused. Do I normally do one and a half or 1.75? Hmm. We're going to do one and a half. How long is it? This could be edited out, but it's not going to be. I apologize. 1.75 since I wasted all that time. Hitting play. Original introduction. No likes. 4,700 views in four hours. I remember to turn my headphones down, so you're welcome. I didn't get that blast of... So, she's showing the animal, singing and dancing, plugging her hameo. Oh, Chantel, I bet those questions really came into play. She's happy because she got McDonald's. She's got fountain coke from McDonald's. I thought they didn't have fountain coke there. So, what are we doing again? So we've got a McFlurry, a full-size soda, chicken, filet fish fries. And are we dare kind of talk about being on a diet and she literally mocks other creators by saying it doesn't compare to what they're on palm of heart and mustard you know Chantal like I said everything's funny to you till it's not funny to you and when you're dealing with real deal medical situations because of all this when everyone laughs because we told you so just like we did in the current situation you're in you're gonna have the same response the cat will not get out of the camera. I, 
I think the cat knocked over the camera and she just embedded an ad. So we are an ad two minutes and 52 seconds in. And Chantel admitted she knocked over the camera. She's finishing the McFlurry. Could you imagine if the camera broke? She'd have no way of making money for the next week. Even at 1.75, there's not much going on. She's saying every time when she makes a funny face, she thinks back to a rumor, I guess, where people's face got stuck. That's exactly the, that's exactly what she made. And here she goes, just devouring the McFlurry. Why the McFlurry first, I wonder? Like, wouldn't you, wouldn't you save that for, like, dessert if she said every meal has to end with a sweet? And she eats everything so fast. Even sped up. Well, she just gave me a thumbnail. So it's interesting to me that they can have Fountain Coke at McDonald's, but nowhere else. So she said she was craving McDonald's. I guess we're not neutralizing intuitive McDonald's. She got an extra... Big Mac sauce, because again, you've got to find ways to sneak in calories if you're going to maintain this 400 pound frame. This is, oh, these are chicken wings from McDonald's. That's odd. I wonder if that's because of the fillers that they use in the Big Nugget. She's moving the whole box. She's talking about movies, and she is just Deleting these fries from existence. There's a car in the background as well. I wonder what the Weight Watchers points on this meal would be. Because I think if we calculated right, wasn't the Whopper meal like in the 30s, high 30s, low 40s? This, I would assume. And having the condiments added. You know what? That may be my next merch. See, I, I'm going to, uh, you know what? I don't even want to ruin it. Why can she never just have food? Why does it always have to have some type of dipping sauce? It's it's unbelievable to me. She can't have the wings without the sauce. She can't have the sandwich without the sauce. You know, in between those two sauces, it's a pretty large tub. I mean, I don't know if you've asked for extra sauce at McDonald's. I don't know that they give it to you in that large of a tub, but... There's probably 200 calories in Mac sauce alone. She says, McDonald's fries are only good when they're fresh. As if there's some fries that are great when they get old. Like, somebody's like, you know what? I'm going to let these fries chill out in the car for another 30, 40 minutes, and then they'll be good. All fries are awful once they sit Chantal. They have such a limited lifespan. But I, I wouldn't know that they're not good based on the speed in which you eat them. I've seen you eat fries that looked like earthworms, and you enjoyed every single bite. She's going through her favorite foods. Again, we're... Understand this. We're talking about food while we have so much food in front of us. She's literally talking about her favorite McDonald's foods. So, the fry... The fries. The wings are fried. Let me give you a quick McDonald's story. I went to McDonald's the other day. I got a chicken sandwich. The fries were unavailable because they said the fry fryer was down. But my sandwich was fried, and I thought to myself, how could they fry the sandwich if the fryer was down? I guess they use a separate fryer for foods as they do potato. I don't know. She's talking about all the hamios she has. Well, Chantel, you know, hope you're knocking them out. She said, if you want us to have her sing, just go to Cameo. The only one she won't... Oh, she won't sing Handsomest Man, because that's only for Salah. So, Salah has entered the room. So, they're arguing over who is the top Cameo-er. She's just continuing to gorge. 
She's singing. She, you can just tell food makes her genuinely happy. I mean, she's singing. She's dancing. She's bright-eyed. It literally is a life through her food portal. She's talking about if she worked at McDonald's. If she worked at McDonald's, <laughs> she would be terminated on day one because there would be a lot of actual accountability. She's not used to accountability in her life. But I assure you, if she worked at McDonald's, they're going to have some questions in the office for where the foods went. Chantal is the McDonald's employee that would work there and then show up later in the day for more food. Just go through the drive through Just show up to show up. She's... Please... What is... Hold on a second. She's trying to tell a story through a wing. She's talking about someone that would bring cheese curds. Is this, is this another, like, horrible history lesson of her life that revolves around food? She remembers the container the cheese curds came in. I mean, again, what do you remember from a food perspective about your jobs. I, I really only remember one instance of where I worked at a contractor and the same guy would bring in donuts every single weekend. And then he passed while we were working there. And I just remember the gravity of not seeing him there after seeing him just so happy and, you know, proud to bring us donuts and thanking us for what we were doing. And it really wasn't so much the donuts. It was the gesture of being thought about. And when he could no longer do that, it was, it was, a, it was tough. It really was. But her connection is far different. She's just saying, charge me whatever you want for this food. I, she ate the sandwich, I guess, while I looked away. The amount of food that is gone is shocking. And she is using the fries as a... I don't even know what I would call it. I, I mean, Chantal, just l listen. You have no shame. Just put your tongue into the cup of sauce at this point. I, I mean, her ability to just get every... Like I said before, no calorie left behind. She has just left this a tattered mess of boxes and grease. My stomach hurts just thinking about eating all this food. I don't know about you guys, but she's talking about her fast food job and how she didn't think she could make it for a day. And she's just continuing to eat. She's trying to justify why she didn't like working there and couldn't keep there. She had bronchitis. So this is over 20 years ago. And this is the story of her life. She's talking about a bakery she worked at. And apparently she didn't stay long at these jobs. She said the pants were made of plastic, and they would rub together. Chantal, those weren't the pants. That was your legs that were making that noise. And she's talking about the noise it would make when she would walk back and forth. I believe part of it is her reminiscing of a time she could walk back and forth. She's talking about how the pastries would come in a, a box that you would have to fold, and this is amusing to her. And the box had to be tied afterwards. This is literally any bakery. I mean, even pizza comes in a box that has to be folded. Does she does she think that boxes come like pre-done? She is eating the final wing after getting the remains of the sauce. She's not mentioned anything. She's talking about painful 
bite after the scar tissue, which we've I've never heard her say that. And now I've I can confidently say I've eaten or I've eaten. I've watched way too many of her mukbangs. She likes the taste, but she doesn't like to think about what she's eating. <laughs> do you do you really think of that when you see her? So she would rather what? Eat a eat a preformed meal, a preformed patty that you have no idea what it is, but a chicken wing, that's a problem. So she's done. There is still six minutes left. I wonder... I'm shocked she hasn't brought up the things that happened. She's talking about working at the furniture factory. She's not downing people that work there. Just the most... awful stories. It's like, Chantal, let these stories have some type of point... Of course you don't remember about this job. You weren't working around food. Of course you're a lazy worker. You can barely film yourself eating at 40, so 20 years ago things weren't going to be much better. She's going to tell a neighbor about her, a story about her neighbor. Unfortunately, he passed in the home. He got her the job. She eats right after the story? She said the only thing she looked forward to was the smoke break, which was only 15 minutes. Enough for two cigarettes. Anything unhealthy, she can squeeze into a short time frame. Let her have at it. She's worried about her lifespan by smoking and that job. But the 2,000 calories, she just engulfed. <laughs> no problem. She's talking about staying with a friend and sleeping on the love seat. I don't know if that's possible these days, Chantel. I question how you're going to get home to Canada without at least two seats being purchased. She's just talking about the way he would cook ramen. Again, everything is food related. She's upset that this person who she was... Well, let me rephrase that. The person that was letting her stay there was inconveniencing him by getting up in his own home. If that doesn't surmise this person, I don't know what else will. That's it. I am glad that I chose 1.75 because there wasn't much to this. She's showing off the McChicken Wings box and she's calling it a day. This, this one really felt... I guess... If I had to say, this one this one felt pretty disingenuous. I, I feel like this was just the act. So, interesting to see what happens as we go forward. Can't wait to see her responses to the things that have happened. And again, look. She knows that apparently all it takes is a kiss for this all to go away. She'll do everything in spite of her religion but that. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you watching this video. You know I will be back as soon as I can with more content.